The Mad King's Clock Tower is one of the most difficult jumping puzzles in Guild Wars 2, and I'm going to simplify it. Here we go. The first leg has you run up to this stopping point. This first platform is tricky because there are lots of small edges, so jump spamming and controlling your landing will help best. You may be tempted to jump on this gear here, but you can skip it completely. You only need to jump onto the second step on this stairway, and you can then jump around to the side. It'll waste time climbing all the way to the top. Jump straight across, ignore the outer platforms here, then jump straight to this gear. These platforms are difficult because jumping even the slightest bit early will spell doom. Wait until the last possible second and then jump. Aim to jump from this point on the gear to guarantee the landing. Here's the first major test. I recommend running out to this ledge and then taking your time on the next two jumps. Once on this platform, run up to the very top and delay the jump as long as possible. Again, if you're early, you're dead. Take your time up this narrow path and aim for this point on the gear to guarantee the landing. It'll take one to two jumps to get over the gear and then onto this staircase. Slow down a bit here to make sure that your jumps are planned carefully. You may just want to rush ahead, but again, jumping early means death. These narrow landing points should only require a quick pause to land accordingly. Jump up and then we've arrived at the toughest part. This requires you to fall down and land on the platform below. The reason this is serious is because it will put you into combat, slowing your movement speed greatly. That means your next few jumps will have to be perfect in order to make it. Once you have healed, you will get to this edge and then I again stress take your time. The lava from here will rise slowly and you will have the capabilities to ease into these jumps on your own accord. The last narrow jump, probably one of the more difficult. Make sure you are getting to the edge of this gear as close as you can. By this point, you should have a commanding lead on the lava and you can take your time on the last few jumps. Once up at the top, you must wait until the clock face is struck by lightning and then when it does, you jump forward to win. Even the best jumpers fail a couple of times, so don't give up too early. <laughs>